Welcome back. With the pension not keeping up with the cost of living crisis, more Aussies are opting to cash out the equity in their homes. New exclusive data shows that since the pandemic, there's been a 285% jump in the number of seniors cashing in. But is it worth it? Here to explain is today money expert Effie Zahos in Melbourne. Hey, Effie. Effie, good morning. good morning. How does the Home Equity Access Scheme actually work? Well, Amelia, it's similar to a reverse-style mortgage, but this one is offered by the government. It actually used to be called the Pension Loan Scheme. And there has been a big jump, admittedly, off low numbers. So to put it in perspective, during COVID, that June 20, uh, 20 period, there was only about 3,000 participants. Over the past six months, they've seen a big run on this, and now it's gone over to 12,000 participants. This product is always kind of fraught with a little bit of, you know, should I jump in, should I not, because there are definitely pros and cons. Yeah. But it does top up your cash flow, whether you are a pensioner or a self-funded retiree. Admittedly, most participants are people that are on the full pension because, as you point out, it just doesn't cut it. OK, um, how much can you get? Um, and also, you mentioned the pros and cons. What are they? Yeah, so Carl, the, the maximum amount would be 150% of the pension or 1.5 times. It does depend on your age and the value of your property. So to keep it in perspective, you're 70 years of age, you've got a million dollar property, the max would be about 308,000 over that period. The example that's on screen now shows a couple who received the full pension. They could possibly get a top up, that loan of 841 per fortnight, pushing it to that 2,500 level. Um, you can get lump sum as well. But the big cons here, obviously, is that your interest does capitalise. So I would urge people to get onto the Money Smart website, play around with the calculators and just see how this compounds over time. Mm. Okay, and if we look at the similar loans offered by banks, how do they stack yeah. up? Well, Amelia, the ones by banks, you'll see the interest rates here, they're, they're more expensive than a home loan, whereby when you look at the government's version, it's a lot cheaper. The big difference here is that you can access the ones offered by, by lenders or banks and so on at the age of 60. Typically, you'll get about 15 to 20% of the equity uh, of your place, whereby the home equity access one, you have to be of pension age, which is 67. Um, look, it is a lot cheaper to go to that home equity access. Overall, I think a lot of uh, questions that people ask is that will it affect my pension it is something you do have to check I mean if you get that uh, reverse mortgage dump the money in a bank account then it'll be treated as part of your assets so you've got to take care I will call probably Centrelink they've got financial service officers there and you can they can talk you through the implications of that as well what are you doing in Melbourne you got a tech conference or something <laughs> yeah tell Trevor I'm right over this oh tech conference yeah here. Oh, this <laughs> great advice as always thank, thank you. you thanks hey there today fans Sarah and and <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?